Please, you gotta see my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Don't let that thing Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Closer, or I'll jump. No, no, please, I'm begging you. Go, go, go. you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Your order for an AP-700 android has been registered. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him! Touch him and I kill you! You can't kill me! I'm not alive! Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. The situation is under control. There. I did what you wanted. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. You lied. 
lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and diets. And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school, but take it ever soon. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. I can show $7,999. It does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode. It contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that? Thank you, and we're good. Can I go pick it up? Uh, yeah, right back. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara.
Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? What are you doing? Pick it up. No kidding. Hey, guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. You ain't going anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. You damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. I'll see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl.
Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. and the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. out of my business unless you want to piss me off you want to piss me off no Tom. What's your verdict, Marcus? I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas.
god. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Now tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Seems you like reading. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. What about your mother? Will she be home soon?
playing. You're playing? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job, take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? Or whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo, oh, look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leo, what's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Then I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruin my fucking life. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You 
you should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? Where's he got that item? Leave, Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop, Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Stop. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Uh, uh, uh. Carl, no. Okay, please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? He's coming! He's gonna hurt me! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! You're coming with me. What the fuck are you doing here? I gave you an order! No! I won't let you hurt her. You won't let me. She's mine. I do what I want with her! No! no! Get out of here, that's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything, you're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. 
We need to fix that.
in the next episode of Detroit. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. You were assigned a case involving a CyberLife android. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. We will be the masters. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. All humans want to hurt us. Find Jericho. Find Jericho.